Hey, what's up, YouTube? Peter here once again. Got another pepper review for you guys. It's been about um, about a week and a half since my last review, which was the um, Brazilian Ghost, which rocked me. So um, took a small break. Been a little busy. So um, I have this pod right here called um, Elysium Oxide Bonnet. So it's from Justin out in Illinois. Uh, still very fresh. As you can see, I had it uh, in the produce um, drawer of the fridge. So it's really fresh. So here's, uh, to get an idea of the size, you go right here. Here's a quarter. Quarter. And here's the pod. Pretty darn big pod. So the circumference... You can see it's really wide okay so here's my thumb it's bigger than my nose okay so anyway I'm gonna cut this open never had this before um, again Elysium oxide bonnet I'm I'm guessing it was a cross that involves a scotch bonnet I'm not really good at determining the the whole entire you know look of the pod but here's an idea right here it's very shiny uh little wrinkled in the bottom kind of looks like a scotch bonnet to me but again the color is nice i really like the color of it it has that uh reddish caramelish variation so i'm gonna slice it open oh boy let's see okay so I got that floral smell on it uh, let me see here here's the inside of half the pod it's actually very ripe already so um, it's a knife pretty wet pretty oily so I don't know how nice this is gonna be to me, but um, I shall soon find out. And um, here's the other half. So it's pretty hollow pod, not very thick walled. Although, yeah, I kind of take that back because this side right here is, this area right here is pretty thick walled, but um. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to probably have to bite this twice because this is a pretty big pod. So, let's see here. Yeah, the seeds are kind of like overripe already. So, eh, we'll see what happens. Take a little bit of it off so I could sew it. But, um, yeah, see? It's a little brown already. So, yeah, it's kind of like my fault. I've been waiting a little too long. So, I'm going to take those off. Sorry guys, um, but don't worry, it's still going to be a fair review. I'm going to leave the placenta intact, but I got to get rid of those darker seeds and whatever else I can harvest. Wow, I can't believe I just touched that with my bare fingers. Anyway, better me than my baby. I do have a two-year-old that's very, very touchy with a bunch of stuff that she sees here on the table, but anyway um okay so here's the other half it's still intact you can see the plate's still there okay here's the bottom the placenta part right here sorry there you go placenta still there right there and um yeah it's just it's very ripe and the inside i mean the outside although it's 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 still very crisp on the outside the inside's already pretty ripe, so sorry about that, but my stomach shall thank me. So here's the inside. There are still seeds in there, and I'm not, I didn't take off everything, but I'm going to just have to do it that way. Okay, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a three-parter on this. So first, I'm going to nail this one right here, and I'm going to go with the next one because it's just, too big you know what since I took out most of the seeds I'm gonna just go ahead and put them all together all right 
fair and square, yeah? So it has that floral smell. Smells good, actually. I'm actually grilling some chicken right now, so I'm going to have a taste of this flavor with my chicken. So, gosh, what time is it? 10.55 p.m. And if you guys can notice, I'm stalling it, so, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I'm putting it back to, oh, man. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. Wow, this thing is just really oily. See that? So there it is. So anyway, again, this is from Justin out in Illinois. Thank you again for the package. Um, I still don't know why I do this. I mean, it's fun. It's fun watching people suffer, I guess, from these pods. But some like Kyle out in Kansas, I believe, and all the hardcores out there, you guys are just too beast. So I hope you enjoy the reaction I'm going to get on this one. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. So here goes. Elysium, what is that again? Elysium Oxide Bonnet. Mm. Oh, okay. There's my hiccup. Oh. It's those little pieces that get around my mouth. It drives me nuts. Oh. Uh. Initial burn six seven five uh, seven. It's those little pieces. Mm. Flavor's good. I do taste a scotch bonnet in there. Get a Dougla taste. A minute, about a minute and a and a half. Oh, there it is. Heats at about a seven, a seven and a quarter. Trying to hit seven point five, but uh. Reminds me so much of a Scotch Scotch bonnet and a, a Dougla. Not tasting a seven pot in it. Heat in the throat. I'd give it about a seven. Ice water a little bit. Small pieces around my mouth that's left behind. I chewed it pretty darn good. Like I chewed it a lot. Uh, heat's at about a seven. I say seven. Top set seven. As you guys can see, I could talk pretty good. The throat burn is what I don't like. I'm feeling a little bit in my stomach already. We're at two and a half minutes in, approaching three actually. Uh, the taste is good. I like the taste. I don't know if it's because I let it ripen a little bit more or whatnot, but uh, yeah, it's making my nose run a little bit. Um, 
This will go perfect with my barbecue. Like I said, I got some barbecue chicken right now. Uh, yeah, good heat, good heat. I give it a, a Scotch bonnet heat, Dougla heat. I can feel it on my ear, that sharp sting in my ear. Again, around my mouth, making my nose water. Mostly throat burn, mostly throat burn. Hiccups are gone already. I'm at uh, four minutes in. Uh, it's those little pieces. Um, as soon as the heat calms down and um, those small pieces start reactivating the heat. And it's kind of annoying to be honest with you. Um, nose is still running, not sweating. I stopped running, but my nose still running. <sighs> Hopefully I didn't, uh, no, I should be all right with that. Anyway, uh, five minutes in, um, heat has subsided a lot. I say at about a level five and a half, six. Uh, I can feel it on my stomach right around here. Not too worried about it because it's not Ognaga. Um, again, the taste is good on it. I would pair this with dark meat for sure. Not so much seafood. Uh, salsa for sure. Smoking it for sure. No pun intended. I'm talking about smoking it on the grill. You guys get the point. Um, so here's the plate. I Again, the seeds. Let's see here. I hope you guys get to see the seeds. It's kind of dark, the seeds. So, you know, again, I didn't want to eat it like that. It's going to gross me out. It'll probably cause me to throw up. Again, um, great tasting pod. Great size. I mean, give or take. It's been in my fridge for almost two weeks. Thanks again, Justin. You're a very generous guy. Um, props to all the chili heads out there. Um keep eating them heat you know and uh you know keep building my tolerance or whatever hope you guys enjoyed that video uh heat's probably like at 475 now it's a really good i like the heat on it i personally <coughs> think that it has perfect heat um of course you're not going to eat this as a whole pot every single time probably take bits and pieces out of it so that'll probably eliminate um you know the the whole hiccup thing if you're eating it with a meal i would just chop this up throw it in a salad throw it in some steak saute it with some veggies great tasting pot again scotch bonnet one of my favorite ones and i'm pretty sure because of the name bonnet at the end it has some kind of scotch bonnet again i'm tasting the similarity of flavor along with a scotch and uh i just I, again the pod looked great it had that caramel look love it um, overall, taste, heat, everything, I give this like an eight, eight and a half total as far as uh, taste wise, looks, everything. Heat, like I said, it topped out. I would even give it a seven and a quarter. Um, wow, so I'm starting to feel it more in my stomach now. So I'm like, what, um, approaching seven minutes, seven and a half minutes in. So uh, I think I'm going to cut the video now. And, um, if things change, I'll give you another update, but I got to get something in my gut. I can, I can feel it already. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Please click the like button. Subscribe. God bless each and every single one of you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Have a great day. Peace.